Dave and Steve fixing up some low spots. Nicely done. Brian putting away a saw we're no longer using this year. Nice job. Fulton always has a, a hard time getting into his name because there's this rip tab and it lines up with some of the other letters. Um, so he removed the ones we're not using, uh, including Y by mistake. Sorry, Yardley, we'll put you back in there. Improvement from Dave. Uh, we always go through two to three pairs of gloves a day going into winter uh, with wet hands and there's no spot to put them. There we go. Nice and simple. Nice job. Replacing the leaning uh, damaged posts on the mill roof. Nice job, Todd, Maddie, and Aaron. Jody came up with this idea for these uh, four-foot-wide stickered loads. Instead of stickering them, he's just using the boards. That way, while he's feeding, he's not having to turn off to the side. He can just keep adding value straight into the molder. Nice job. Steve needed to unplug something from under his desk, but what uh, cord is it? So he went ahead and labeled those. Much better. They nice job. nice and easy. Randy following it through and picking up this extra dunnage. Nice job. Great standardization from Fulcher, making all the tools in the sawmill secan white. So anything with a white dot is for the sawmill secan. Nice job. Brian was piling lifts, and uh, Randy never told him how high to pile them. Um, so wherever you ask the question, the answer should be. So with the teamwork of Sandy, they made this great uh, chart that says the heights of all of the, the finished lifts. Nice job. Todd doing a good 3S clean of the job site boxes. Awesome. Nice job. Yoka 10 from Dave. So each uh, jerry can needs one full thing of uh, washer fluid um, so it doesn't uh, freeze, so we have no problems with freezing. And then over on the resaw, um, there are some wheel scrapers, but they don't work all too uh, great. So it is good to lock out the machine as shown here and uh, show and actually check the, check the wheel that they're uh, clean and, and scraped off. Nicely done. So we've started doing Instagram advertising, which is very successful, and we get a ton of automatic messages. How can I get more info on this? So I had AI pre-write uh, a response for me, then I downloaded a text expander keyboard. So now I can go in, select the message, and I push one button, and then it automatically uh, copy and paste my text to that response. Absolutely beautiful job from Yardley, Stu, and Luke on this 30-foot gazebo installation out of town. Last week we had a customer that wanted to order some 5-inch wide tonguing groove, and he asked how accurate the 5 inches were, because he was uh, concerned about our uh, quality tolerances, because he's an engineer and very detailed. So I, I thought I'd just go to, go to quality check, 5.000. And for those of you who aren't aware how accurate that is, I measured a hair off of my head and uh, our wood is more accurate than a human hair. Nice job, Jody.